My name is Taylor and I'm depressed. Wow, that was not an intro. I don't know what is. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my channel is a bunch of things. We do weight loss, we do lifestyle. I occasionally talk about traveling. Back then, when there was traveling. <laughs> That's not happening anymore. We can say a bye 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 to uh, traveling. Yeah, uh, so I'm sad. <laughs> and a little bit depressed and going through a quarter life crisis. Yeah, but we're trying to get out of it with the wonderful world of therapy and self-care, which is what I'm going to be doing today, which is transforming myself into an Instagram baddie. Because when I told my 16 year old sister I'm sad, all she did was sing some song like she my little baddie she my little boo thing. I don't know what that song is. I don't know what that means. And I had to look up what a baddie means because clearly I'm at that weird, awkward stage where I don't really know trends that are happening right now, but I can quote vines. And that's all I got. <laughs> I had to look up what a Instagram baddie is. And by definition, by Google, a Instagram baddie is a woman who always looks flawless. She's always wearing the latest trends. Nothing says trendy like Shakespeare saying, let's get lit a chur. Baddies also do their own makeup. Ooh, we love a DIY queen. In fact, they're always known on for having on fleek eyebrows. People still use the term fleek. I don't remember anyone still using, I don't know. Instagram baddies are also influencers. Well, I only have like 250 followers, so I only influence 250 of you. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any influence on you guys. But here we are. And I'm looking up, I love how Google will like give me like extra like, you probably can't see it because I'm terrible at this, but like they'll give you more results. So like, how do I make myself look like an Instagram baddie? And um, stuff like that. What is a baddie face? Uh, a baddie look is a fashion and makeup trend that is all about heavy makeup, sporty, street style clothing. This style requires makeup that is on fleek, effortlessly flawless with highlighted features thanks to contouring, thick eyebrows, and loads of eyeliner. Well, normally I do 50s inspired makeup or I wear no makeup or I just do my eyebrows. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to try making ourselves look cute because, you know, normally when people are sad, they try to do a makeover. If I've learned anything from rom-coms and anything else in my life, a makeover is supposed to help with all your problems. <laughs> so here we are. And I haven't posted anything on this channel in three weeks. So yeah, this is my welcome back after 28 days of not posting anything is, hi, I'm sad and watch me try to make over my face and try to look somewhat presentable. So apparently we have to be fashion forward. So I guess Shakespeare is not fashion forward. So we're gonna change. I think I'm good now. <laughs> this is a crop top hoodie thing that I got from Fashion Nova a year ago. And I only wore it zero times so so let me look up a picture of what a instagram baddie looks like i'm getting straight hair or wavy hair slightly wavy hair just a lot of makeup a lot of makeup i have never done heavy makeup because i don't like heavy makeup so this is gonna be interesting let's go it's like only five o'clock at night i have nowhere to go because also this is quarantine so just to make sure I have nothing on my face, because I went for a walk two hours ago, because that's what I do when I'm sad. I don't know if baddies wear these kind of 
headbands to avoid getting makeup on their face but this baddie does, so here we go. Wow, I have not done a full face of makeup in a very long time. Today is the day I'm becoming a beauty YouTuber. First, we're gonna put on some primer, cause it's important. I like water-based primers because I'm oily and anything extra makes me just, yeah, I don't know. I just like water, I just, just prefer it. I don't like a lot of things on my face. So from what I've read, it's basically a full face of makeup. Now, let me tell you, for all the years I have been doing makeup on myself, I have never, ever, ever done a full face of makeup, ever. No, wait, homecoming, freshman year of high school. I did a full face of makeup. Well, technically my mummy did a full face of makeup on me and I had no choice, so we have that. So, if I remember these steps of full face of makeup, we put on the primer. I think I wanna put on eyeshadow first because I always mess up. So I know with eyeshadow, back to the picture, it looks like a lot, a lot of color, a lot of bling. I can do that. Baddies do their eyebrows first because from what I can tell they put like a lot of concealer and just like cut it out and I'm like oh boy. But I, 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 well, I don't know what I'm doing. So while I am d talking and doing all the stuff and trying to figure out my life and wow I have not washed my brushes since the last time I used them which was like Three months ago, I have not worn makeup in like three months. Wow, we are doing great things, Taylor. Amazing thing. So, let me tell you a little bit about my life and how everything's going. Since, you know, this is a video about trying to get my life in check. So, basically, I'm just sad. But I feel like everyone's sad this year because it's 2020 and 2020 sucks. A lot of things have been happening with my mental state. Do I want to even do a brown? I don't know, I don't want to do brown. I don't want this anymore. So basically, I am just sad. I've been sad ever since, I don't even think I told you guys cause I don't, I don't know. Even though I'm a YouTuber, I'm not really personal. <laughs> like a few months ago, my grandmother passed away. Um, and it really took a hard toll on me just because my grandmother and I were extremely, extremely close. Like I believe in soulmates and I do believe she was one of my soulmates because I do believe that soulmates are not just a romantic connection. They can also be friends, family. And my grandmother was one of my soulmates. We were extremely close. I would visit her often throughout the year. My father would get jealous of that, by the way, which is his own mom. Yeah, like we were just extremely close. I would call her multiple times throughout the week kind of thing. Um, we shared a birthday and you know, we. she was my whole world and she constantly called me her heart. And this year, because of coronavirus, I could not visit her for our birthday. This was the first time, I want to say in 12 years, where I missed our birthday. She was really sad and she wanted to see me and I was really sad because I wanted to see her, but I didn't want to take that risk because this was back in April for our birthdays. Technically, I could have flied. Flights were still happening. It wasn't recommended because everyone was on lockdown. I just didn't want to risk it because she was, I think she just turned 86 this year, 87. And I didn't want to take that risk, dude, you know? A lot of people didn't want to take that risk, and, you know? I didn't want to go to her funeral and they would be like, well, the reason why she died is because somebody, Taylor, went to go visit her. I didn't want to be that person. I, you know, wanted to wait to make sure that she was healthy and good and everything. And so, yeah, I waited. And you know, she was really sad about that, that she couldn't see me. I was super depressed because I couldn't see her. <sighs> and it sucked because I talked to her that week that she passed. And when I got the news from my father that she passed away, 
it hit me in a different kind of way just because we told each other that we were going to talk the following day we're not going to cry because baddies don't cry baddies don't cry taylor they don't ruin their eye makeup and you know <laughs> it just sucked and ever since then I've been feeling kind of lost and just sad, but I've been like trying to continue on because my grandmother was very much an Aries woman. She was very proud of being an Aries. And whenever I got super sad and I would talk to her, call her crying and she's like, baby, we're Aries. We keep going. We don't stay sad. We just keep fighting. I'm like, and so I keep hearing her voice when I'm like thinking about the situation and getting sad from it. Like, okay, we gotta keep going. We're Aries women. We we don't stop, we don't fight. But then at the same time, I'm like arguing in my head with her voice like, but grandma, <laughs> I'm sad. And so it's definitely, ever since then, it's definitely hit me kind of hard in some kind of special way. And I don't know, and it is now just like boiling down into everything. I, A lot of people have lost loved ones this year a lot of people are being affected this year and no one's really truly happy <laughs> this year because this I mean for you know there's some people where this year wasn't like the worst year of their life but then there, for some people this was the worst year of their life <laughs> and I'm one of those people so I've been trying to definitely take care of myself I've been trying to keep track of my weight loss but there's just moments where just like you just want to cry so we're trying to not be depressed in all of that jazz so you yeah, know right now we're trying to unlock our inner airy lemon and be fierce and be a baddie according to what my sister says to do because I don't even know if this is baddie makeup but we're doing it this this is something Ta -da. Ooh, we're doing so well, I think. Baby, I don't know. Eyes are done. We'll do eyebrows. Uh, I don't know how to do Instagram baddie eyebrows, but apparently they're just super thick and super just chiseled. So normally I use powder and I don't really do anything super fancy. I normally just fill them in slightly and hope for the best. So we will continue to do that and see if we can sharpen them up a little bit. Come on, work with me. Yeah? Yeah. That looks like a baddie eyebrow right there. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> okay, all right. We're coming right along. Now, I know they use a ton of concealer. And I need to wet my beauty blender. So I'll be right back. All right, I got a white. A white? Whoa there, buddy. A wet beauty blender. Okay, and then we're going to go with concealer. So I know that they use a lot of concealer. Like, a lot. So. We're gonna make a triangle. See, when I went to esthetician school, we technically had a uh, makeup course. And let me just tell you, let me tell you a story, kids. I hated it with a passion. I'm not a big makeup person. I'm more of the skincare do hickey things i rather you know do five uh face masks and take care of my skin and make sure that there's and you know stress over that oh instead of you know covering a lot of layers i mean that is for some people they want to completely shape their face but during school i absolutely hated doing makeup 
especially on other people. Do you know how hard it is to do makeup on other people? Let me tell you, it's extremely hard. Thank God I'm not going outside because I feel like I look pasty. We'll add some more color. Bronzer, that's a thing. Okay. So I'm not really sure what my color is right now because the only the thing I really use is a tinted moisturizer, which is um, in light medium right now, which technically is my winter color, but I've been going a lot of walks this winter because it's been very warm. Thank you, global warming. And so I might be too dark for this. Yeah, this is going to blend with the... Oh boy. Okay, we are going to go with powder then. Oh boy. Blend. Blend. I know this is too early to ask you guys, but I'm just slightly curious. Are any of you guys interested in, um, or have any plans for 2021? Like, I'm not expecting much. Like, I'm not expecting at the stroke of midnight things are going to automatically change. And I know that's not true, but I'm expecting something to happen. So... Do you guys have any plans or any goals for 2021? It doesn't have to be like a New Year's resolution because no one really sticks to those. But just like, do you just want something for next year? Anything, anything at all. Okay. I think this is good. We are now somewhat not pale and not a random color. So there we go. Back to the picture of what an Instagram baddie is. Okay, so we got blush and highlight. Blush and highlight and contour. I don't know how to contour. I've never had to contour before. Oh boy, okay. Um, what's a contour brush? I know some people use this as a highlight brush, but we're gonna use it as a contour brush. I'm going in with this double thing, Pacifica thing, bronzed rose. Is this how you contour? Okay. From what I remember, you suck in your cheeks. And that's all I remember. <laughs> you can tell I don't do makeup. Okay. Okay. I wasn't even using the sign that had the bronzer. Wow, okay. I don't know what I'm doing because I don't wear this kind of makeup because I prefer natural roll because I am lazy, lazy. I know you do your chin, I think. I'm just gonna smile and say hope oh, for the best. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just hoping for the best because when you're sad, does it really matter? Does anything really matter? Who knows? And since we're already low, we can't get any lower than this, boys and girls. That's what I like to say. When you're at the bottom, you're already at the bottom. There's no more bottom to go. And it's not like I'm going outside because I like to stay inside. Now I can only th remember that SpongeBob song where he likes to stay indoors. I know of a place where you're never too far. A magical place with magical charms. He indoors. He indoors. Wow, this is really a depressing video. Really need to work on my personality, but it's fine. We're gonna work on it and we're gonna get happy sooner or later. Why? Because I have a therapist and she's pretty great. Don't know how she deals with me, but she does. Maybe because I pay her, who knows? But. She hasn't dropped me as a client yet.
So we got us going for that. What else do we do? Oh yeah, we need to do eyeliner. And eyelashes. I think I have falsies still. I found two falsies on the bottom of my drawer. And we're gonna use them. Cause that's all I got. I have not worn falsies in a while. So this is gonna be interesting. So um, bear with me. So we're gonna take a little bit of lash glue. We're going to put them on these lashes. And I know we do this little Boop, 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 boop. Okay, all right. Bear with me now, kids. I don't have a mirror. Oh god, we're gonna use this tiny mirror. Okay, we're gonna. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh god, oh god. Do we do it? Do we do it? We did it! Now we just have to do the other side. Oh. Oh no. Where are we supposed to curl these first? Last we have the lipstick. <laughs> so what we're going to do while we let the eyelashes dry Attractive. We're going to try to attempt to do lips. Okay. This is one of the few things I actually know how to do. Huh. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, we're getting somewhere. Got the Z lips done. <sighs> what else do I gotta do? I got the eyelashes. I got the brows. I got hair. I need to do hair. Can I just say, if this is what being an Instagram baddie takes, this is a lot of work to be an Instagram baddie. And I don't think I wanna do it. Okay. Last step is hair. Apparently they have amazing hair. And I would re-straighten my hair, but I don't feel like it. Cause like I said, I'm not an actually true baddie. I am an average lazy person. So we're just gonna brush it out. Perfect. I feel like a baddie now. I am the epitome of a baddie. My sister now can say that yes, I am a baddie. And whatever she said. She little baddie. She my little boo thing? Yeah, boo thang. Let me try to FaceTime my friend and get her opinion. Talking. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hello. So, um, oh, you look so cute with your hair cut. Well, Thank I was you. I was feeling sad, and uh, Alexa told me to become. Uh, well, she sang me a song. I don't know where it's from. I don't know who sang it, but it's like she a little baddie. She my little boo thing. She a little baddie. Ah. She my little boo. Yeah. Uh, I decided to turn myself into an Instagram baddie to help cure my depression. And this is what came out. Oh, hell yeah. I love it. Play queen. I was only able to talk to one friend and she liked it. All the other friends were either busy or I decided to send them a picture and they gave me the good old thumbs up. So I think I accomplished this Instagram baddie. No, my hair is not perfectly straight like a normal Instagram baddie. And I, yeah, but we at least somewhat accomplished the Instagram baddie look. So now I am going to uh, take this all off and go eat some cereal for dinner. 
Yep. So if honestly, if any of you guys are actually also struggling with this year and how things are turning out, or if you're just sad, it's okay to reach out for help and ask friends and family that you're down. And then even though I was kind of, you know, this is like kind of jokingly, like, yeah, I am sad, but talking it out and getting help, dealing it with, with friends, or even going to a therapist, or even doing self-care, as might as stupid it is to, you know, to do all this for self-care. It, it's very important to do self-care. So that is my little tidbit of information. I hope you guys liked this mess of whatever this video was. I don't even know, but it's something that I will post. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make good choices, follow your dreams, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it will not be another three weeks. We'll see. All right. See you guys later. Bye.